Hey YouTube guys, I'm going to make a video about a new tool that I just purchased, a Procunior tapping and drilling head, or it's a tapping head, not a drilling head. It's a Series Z Model 1. Uh, it has a uh, Morse Taper 2 shank, and I've got a 3 sleeve on it, 2 to 3 sleeve, since my uh, drill press is a Morse Taper 3. Uh, when I bought the unit, uh, it didn't come with any collets. So I, I did purchase a collet, um, show it to you right here. Um, I purchased the one for a quarter inch tap. Um, it's $35 to buy that tap, that, uh, that collet. And so I uh, went ahead and built one for the number 10. And I'm going to continue on and build for the number 12, 8, and 6. Save myself some money. Um, this is a close-up view of the of the quarter inch. It's a little over an inch long. Um, so I'm going to be doing this on the lathe and then on the mill um, and replicate uh, this collet. This is the unit that I built for the uh, number 10. Um, I noticed in, in photos that I saw that the, the uh, three slits get wider as the collet or as the uh, tap gets smaller. Um, I'll be doing it on the lathe, which is over here. Um, using a collet setup uh, to do it. I'm going to try to batch these as I make them. Um, so I'll be using a 3 8 collet. That's the uh, outside uh, diameter of it. And then uh, we'll be using a uh, collet stop within the collet. Um, so we can just pop them in, in and out and make all the cuts uh, quickly and efficiently. Um, the other unit that I'll be using is a uh, 5C collet horizontal vertical indexing fixture that I recently just purchased also. And we'll be using that on the milling machine as we uh, finish up the part. Uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see what, kind of, what I can do. Uh, my first uh, video uh, really uh, trying to do this and record it so uh, we'll see how I do.